Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. I am in New York City and today's gonna be a really fun day. But before we get to that, I just wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Videoblocks, a subscription-based video stock footage service that I've been using for years now, so really happy to have them on board. Anyway, like I mentioned, today is gonna be a really fun day because rarely do I get to just kinda go into the city and, and just not do anything but eat and hang out with friends and maybe chill at a coffee shop somewhere. So that's exactly what today's gonna be. A lot of food, a lot of just, you know, doing nothing, more food, and the first place I'm going to, I haven't been for months. So excited. Let's go eat a piece of steak. For steak, today we're going to what I consider one of the best steak houses in New York City. Uh, sorry, I was just kidding, we're not going there. Because there are just, just a ton of steak houses here in New York City, everybody has their favorites, and I think I've been to pretty much all of them. I really like Kings for their mutton chop. I've been to Peter Luger's. I, I thought it was just very overhyped. And I've talked about this on my vlog before, but Del Frisco's, my favorite go-to steakhouse in New York City. And taking into account the food, the service, the ambiance, because you're going to a steakhouse, you're spending a lot of money, you want the service to be awesome, you want to really enjoy your time you for sure want the steak to be good this is my go-to steakhouse in New York City every time I come here never a bad experience friend Ben is here what's up buddy what's up man ready for some steak yeah, all right this place is kind of expensive but luckily Ben has a coupon for $25 well, it expired I think on the third but they should give it to us right did you put an expired coupon? We were counting on that coupon. It expired on the third day. <laughs> it was like, dude, we're such good customers. They it's 10 days later. Yeah, let me see. I don't it think they're gonna give it to us. Days. You can try, I don't know. But there's a couple things I always get here. Their crab cake is phenomenal. I really love the bread. One, it's oven fresh. Two, it's super tasty. Three, it's free, unlimited. What are you gonna get for steak? For steak? Uh, I always only get one steak here. I get their American Wagyu. That's their like best steak here. It's not on the lunch menu. How much is that one? It's close to $100. It's like 90 bucks. But it's still not as expensive as Kobe steak. It's like half price of Kobe steak. Plus, look at this man. What happened? Ben, ben, ben just had a baby. That's what happened. Yeah. You have a baby, you get the baby fat. It, it transferred over to you. Thing is, after eating Kobe steak, nothing is going to be as good as Kobe. Yay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at this. Beautiful loaf of bread. This is fantastic. This is the bread, man. Yeah. And they just get warmer and crunchier and more delicious. This is one of my favorite things to get here. They grill up a fatty king crab claw. This is delicious. And there's three sauces. Mm -hmm. All the sauces are awesome. This is one of the best things you can have here. Oh, look at look how juicy that is. They serve it to you either chilled or grilled. Always get grilled. It was amazing. I love some crab legs. Grill it, dip in some of the sauce. It was amazing. I have some real surf and turf right here. That's mine. And oh, look at that baby. You, sir. Yes, sir. You, sir. Thank you. Thank you sir. Love that. Okay, no problem. Yeah, good. How about you, sir? Uh, yep, that was good to me. Yeah, your steak is still sizzling. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh, no. Look at this thing. I feel like a caveman that just hunted a T-Rex. This is how steak should be done. Flintstones, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> That's a primal way to eat steak. It really is. It's very caveman-esque. Everything is beautiful. This is the perfect piece. Got some fat, some meat, a little char. So much beefy goodness. Wow, perfect bite of steak for me. This right here, the meat closest to the ball, this is the best part. A lot of flavor in that meat. I know it's sort of a fancy steakhouse. Just gonna gnaw on it. I'm gonna sit here. Luckily, I'm kind of facing the window. I'm just like. I'm gonna act really casual, you know? Nothing to see here, just the Asian dude gnawing on a bone. Very normal stuff. Hey, you guys think this is the right way to do it, right? That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. That's the way I appreciate that. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks Absolutely. for coming over Pick and coming. There's no judgment. Do it. You guys are awesome. Everybody acts shy, man. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. This place is really cool. This used to be a two pound steak, by the way. I'm going to gnaw on this some more. I think that's it. That was a huge and very delicious steak. And I feel like I might need to take a nap in my car for a little bit. And then on to Queens. I'm in Queens and I have about four hours of free time before my next appointment. So even though this is kind of a more relaxing day, I get to come in the city. 
I get a hand with my friend, have some steak. I still gotta work. I found this new cafe. It's really, I really like this place. So we're gonna go there, do some work, maybe have some ice cream. Actually, really love the Korean bean soup or shaved ice here at this place. Really good shaved ice. I was walking by and filming, and somebody in there just gave me the strangest look ever. Anyway, really, really awesome shaved ice, but. This cafe I really like. White Noise Coffee Company. Tons of space and great ice cream. A massive croissant. It looks like a croissant that ate two other croissants. This is something good they have here. Black sesame and fresh milk. And the whole thing is kind of shaped like a little poop. How else do you describe the shape? I have no idea. Mm. I think that's something needed after a big steak. All right, I gotta get some work done. Hey, it's dinner time. I feel like I just ate. That steak is still in here. But today I'm going to dinner with a few people I've never met before. Sometimes I get emails from fans that want to have dinner with me. And because I really, really do appreciate you guys watching the video. So sometimes people email me. They say they're going to be in town for a few days. They really want to grab dinner. So if I have time, I'm going to go grab dinner with them. And that's what I'm doing right now. At my favorite soup dumpling place in Queens. Well, actually, in the entire New York City. Right there. Kung Fu Xiao Long Bao. Kung Fu soup dumplings. Best, best, best soup dumpling place in all of New York City. Hands down. Not even close. Hi, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Julie. Andrew and Julie and Jenny. I'm gonna have dinner with the, these yeah. guys. Where are you guys from about again? Charlotte, North Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. You guys ready for the soup dumplings? I'm Hell so yeah. ready. You guys ever had soup dumplings before? No. I have had it before. But right. not the good stuff. I've had it at Joe's. You mine's, say no good, oh, right? Oh, Joe's. Please, please. <laughs> you know what? Your, your mind's gonna be blown. I, I'm okay. excited for you. I'm, I'm really excited, excited for you. Okay. All right, let's go grab some food. This is Jenny. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. First dish, salty silken tofu. This is a northern favorite. Northern people love this. Southern people love the sweet version. We love the salty version. You can actually mix this up. It's gonna be pretty. You want, you want, yeah, mix it up. Mix it no, up one, no one's taking a picture. No, we're all good. Okay. So gonna mix this up. And there's some uh, pickled veggies in here. Pickle relish, some seaweed, cilantro, <laughs> hot oil, and this is really unique northern Chinese dish. In Chinese, it's literally called tofu brains because it's, it's kind of soft like brains. I don't know. First impression of soaked and tofu. Good, good. Delicious. I love this stuff. Mm -hmm. A little wontons and spicy hot oil that was with sesame sauce. Mix this up. You want to take pictures of the dishes as they come out? All right, just take a wonton and then you can dip your uh, scallion pancake in the sauce. Oh my gosh. That's delicious. This is the crab one. This one. Oh, this is regular? And this is the, uh, it's a type of melon. It's like a cucumber. What do you guys think? First time? Delicious. Yeah? yeah. All right, guys, go ahead. This is really hot, so be careful. Just carefully. There you go, guys. Let's see. Let's see these guys try chocolate soup dumplings for the are we first time. In our mouths or are we cutting it out? No, no, don't cut it. Don't but cut slowly it. bite it. You can use your chopsticks if you want. Just slowly take a bite. Be very, very careful. It's already in. Oh my gosh, it's really That banana has like into the chocolate. It's like chocolate banana. Awesome. Had a really good time at dinner with these guys. They're off to Kyoto. Me too. Yes. Yes. To Have start. fun and good luck. So try all the places. It was a pleasure. Maybe this you'll guys, see a video. This guy's the He's man. amazing. He's the best. Don't eat anything I wouldn't eat. Man. Nothing. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Fun, that was a really awesome food day. It was even better because I got to hang out with my friend Ben. I got to hang out with those really awesome people. Now I got to go to bed because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to Boston and I'm going on a lobster tour. So this vlog is going to continue. I'll see you guys in the morning. It's 6.30 in the morning and I have to go to Boston. I have to be there before 10 o'clock or around 10 o'clock. And I'm going today because I got back really late from New York last night. I'm sleepy. I got a long drive ahead of me, but I am eating lobster. So that's going to be worth it. Things I do for lobster. We're going to Boston today to film my lobster tour and Perry's never had lobster. I get lobster in Maine's probably a lot better but we're clapping with a fashion blogger today so I'm gonna go to Boston try a lot of lobster and then uh, we're gonna compare basically the western style lobster with Chinese style lobster. It's gonna be a lobster filled day. It's gonna be exciting. Got to Boston and I'll be filming. Um, first stop is gonna be here, Neptune Oyster. And this place, already a line of people. Hi, this will be my co host today. How you doing, Jean? Oh, this is on camera? This is my vlog. So, Jean's a fashion blogger. She's, uh, she's gonna eat lobster with me today. How long have you lived in Boston? I've lived here for, gosh, about 10 years. 10 years? And you used to live here too, I used right? to live here, yeah, but I moved because, you know. The food's not good. So. Ah, I don't want to say that because a lot of you guys are in Boston. I'm sure we can find some good food, but you love lobster here, so you know where to go. Oh yeah, so we're going gonna... to some good spots today. All right, cool. I'm excited. I mean, lobster all day? That's the dream. No way. Is your first time? First time lobster. 
What do you think? Chewy. Salty. It tastes of butter. You taste the sweet flesh of the succulent lobster? Yeah. It's a succulent sea, sea bug. This is way to get your protein. That was some fantastic lobster roll, especially that hot one. Kind of missing it already, but it was definitely the most expensive lobster roll I've ever had. But this is the place to go for seafood and lobster roll. So I guess if you're in Boston, check this place out. Yay, more lobster. something you don't see every day. Turkeys just walking around on the sidewalk. You guys better get out of here. It's almost November. Four turkeys. There's two here. There's a couple over there. I can't see them. They're in the, there, there's one. Turkeys wandering around. Oh, this one's just not fat enough. But this one, this one's ready to go. Feels like I'm chasing him, which I'm not. I'm not a stalker. I'm not a turkey stalker. That was a great couple of days. Steak, lobster, pasta with lobster, fried lobster, lobster over rice. That's how I have fun. Some people like going to the beach. Some like Six Flags. I just like to stuff my face all day. So now now the challenge ahead of me is how am I gonna drive like four hours back to New York when I'm about to go into a lobster food coma? This is why we need automated cars. And guys, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by Video Blocks. And if you don't know, Video Blocks is a membership only site where you can get access to their unlimited stock footage library, to their global video marketplace where the artist gets to keep 100% commission. This is a service I've been using ever since I think I started doing YouTube. So I'm really happy they're a sponsor on this channel because it's a service I absolutely love. And if you guys wanna try it out, they're actually giving away a seven day free trial where you can have access to their huge library of royalty-free content for free. And if you want to check it out, you can go to videoblocks.com slash YouTube. All that information is listed for you guys in my description box. So click on that link and start your free trial. All right, guys, like I mentioned, been a fun steak and lobster filled couple of days. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.